Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the Audio Levels channel. Welcome back to another review. Today we have these. These are the KZESX 10th Anniversary Edition. Uh, this is KZ's Bread and Butter Cheap Earphones Done Well. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right from the start of this, if you get got $20 to spend on a set of earphones, whether it's as your primary or as your backup, this is... This is perfect. This does everything I would want it to do. I don't like balanced armatures, especially KZ balanced armatures down at this low of a price point below $30, uh, because I think that the base doesn't resolve as good. The base on this, this is a 12 millimeter dynamic driver, detachable cables, nice housing, and it just bangs. It bangs, works well with all types of music, and $20, $20, I cannot believe how good earphones are getting at this price. Um, there's so many options as well. And don't think just because I'm saying this, um, this particular one right now, there is lots of options under $30, under $50. There is so many earphones right now that are just JVC, Sony, Philips. You can all go and, uh, mm, because you suck. You suck so bad in comparison to these things. I was listening and I said, I don't even know the, the name of the Sony because, you know, they do that naming scheme where they put like 40 different letters and numbers. They don't actually give their earphones a name. I was listening to a set of Sony Buds. I asked somebody, how much are these? And they were like, $35. I was like, this is trash. This is hot, hot, steaming dog. Uh, this is... <laughs> Because I've got experience listening to these KZs, CCAs, uh, you know, anything that comes out the the KZ factory, now that KZ finally got their finger out their backside and started paying attention to number one tuning and number two, the, they got rid of the god awful cables that they used to include with their earphones. Um, KZ are now really are a bit of a force to be reckoned with because they're doing less of that, just throw a whole bunch of useless nonsense at a wall and hope that something sticks and that the community catches on to it. They're still uh, producing far too many earphones. They should stick with a line and have confidence and just say like, look, this is one of the best earphones you can get under $20. And this is right now, uh, if I was spending $20, I like the way these look. Uh, I like the way they sound. And I think the cable's okay. Like, um, I think a few years ago, the cable, $20, no problem. Like as a backup cable. Uh, box, absolute bog standard KZ, pop it off the top. Bog standard KZ, apart from the shiny gold coin, which for all I care, they could have just left in the trash or not bothered producing. Uh, absolute waste of space. But I guess they were wanting to celebrate 10 years of KZ or whatever. If we go back to the original ones that were a complete blatant ripoff of uh, Campfire Audio's original earphones. Now, uh, same bog standard ear tips. I'm not going to go into this. I think it's worth getting a set of uh, ear tips that are better. Uh, final audio tips if you have them lying around. Send the fits, obviously, but those are all quite expensive. But you can get good, decent uh, tips. Uh, these are just very, very cheap uh, silicone that don't grip so well in your ears. The cable itself, uh, as usual, I listen to all the stuff and then I repackage everything so that you can get a, uh, a look at what it's like in the box. This is the cable. Uh, now, I didn't use this cable because I have so many KZ earphones and it's the exact same cable that they use right across. So I always feel like if you get a fresh cable like this, it's going to perform a little bit different, especially on the cheaper end because it's retaining the memory from the box. What I do is I, I keep a couple of KZ cables and see how they are performing over time. And there's two things that I want to observe. Yes, this new cable design that they have with the two strands, uh, where is it? the two strands joined on this part, which splits into a single after the splitter. Uh, here you go here. It has a, a twisted silver braid on the inside. Now, when you get it out of the box, it's going to be incredibly memory retentive. Uh, these bends will hold place, but that does go away. It's not a nice flowing cable. Anything that is silicone covered tends to be 
a little bit too stiff for my liking, but at this price, uh, it's perfectly acceptable. And that, as I said, these these kinks do go away and they smooth out over time as they're hanging from your chest. The only thing that I would say that I don't like about it is that because they've gone for this clear silicone and this this white sort of look, it does yellow over time. I've I've got the a, a six month old version of it and an eight month old version of it. And there's a little bit of yellowing coming in on that uh, eight month old uh, where the, the silicone sort of starts to turn a little bit yellow. But as it is out the box, very, very, very nice cable. Uh, and specifically it's up here uh, where you find the yellowing where this harder plastic is, the harder clear plastic. Fortunately, the earphones don't uh, change color at all over time. Now, I think that is one of the best looking KZ earphones. Uh, these look way more premium when they're in your ear. Uh, nice polishing on the edges, this translucent sort of agua uh, color on it, uh, and then crystal clear design where you can see the driver. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Where they've saved a bit of money uh, over other KZ earphones is in fact at the, uh, the nozzle. Uh, and I'm sorry if you can hear this dog next door. Um, at the the nozzle, they usually put a little bit of gold metal, not gold, but you know, gold colored metal to protect the, the tips. And I would have liked to have seen that there because if you drop the earphones, drop silicone or acrylic, uh, it does tend to shatter. So you're gonna need to be a little bit more careful with this, but overall, I just think that that is way better looking than I could have ever imagined. It just pops, really, really pops. $20 looks way more expensive. Of course, it has the uh, QDC connectors that pop over the top. At first, I was against it because there was no uh, options for aftermarket cables, but now there is, and it gives it does give protection to the, uh, the, the two-pin connectors over traditional uh, flush-mounted, two pin or that's not flush mounted, but on flush mounted, you can have the, the two pin connectors can get uh, ingress of sweat and water and corrode the actual, uh, the ports. This, if you can see, if I can get this to focus, the hood pushes down over the top and effectively seals it from water. I really, really like that. Uh, now, as for the sound, absolutely nothing special. But crucially, at $20, and this is what makes them so good, nothing bad, nothing offensive, no peaking treble, decent uh, detail retrieval, punchy bass that doesn't swamp the mid-range. It does so much right. Tonally, it's very, very nice with a, a slight emphasis on the bass and treble and a very smooth mid-range, so it's inoffensive and it's gonna work well with almost every genre of music. And it actually does resolve enough detail to make jazz fairly pleasant, especially with that weight in the uh, the mid-bass. It's got an extra little sort of punch down there that makes it sound very, very pleasant, very intimate, very warm. Sound, everything is average, sound stage is average, detail retrieval is average, um, and crucially, there is nothing that's like a flaw. As I say, I was listening to those Sony headphones and I was like, the treble is non-existent here. The bass is muddy as all hell, bleeding into the mid-range. Similar if you got a $50 set of JVCs, you're just going to get this muddy, warm, overly lush sound. This this is not going to compete with the even the KZ balanced armatures in terms of detail retrieval, but in terms of like a pleasant... Um, balance of weight to the low end, smoothness in the mid-range, and uh, an inoffensive treble. This is fantastic. This is an all-around... I'm not going to talk, talk too much about the, the sound any more than that. Just know that it does very, very, very little wrong. In fact, it, doesn't, it does nothing wrong. It does nothing to offend me. Uh, it's just that everything else could be a bit more as you go up in price. Uh, but for... $20 recommended retail price. They look fantastic. The cable is good. The sound is good. Everything is good. Uh, buy these uh, 100%. That's it for the review. I'm keeping it under 10 minutes. I'll see you on the next one. If you're thinking about a backup or a primary, 
No brainer on this one. Yep, well done, Casey.